It was a lot of fun going on. And I started working with Prince. I got to do the movie Graffiti Bridge. I performed in that. I did the, the closing song over credits. It was just the experience of a lifetime. My younger sister, who was real close with Prince, he would come to our house all the time while we were growing up. The Minneapolis music scene just exploded. So I started pursuing Prince to give me an opportunity in the music business through my love for hip hop. And in the beginning, he was like, you know, he wasn't with it. He was like, nah, man, I, you know, I don't, I don't really do the rap thing, you know. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you're a virtuoso, dude. I said, hip hop is the future of the music business. One time I see Prince at the nightclub, Prince calls me over, he says, TC, come here, I wanna to talk to you. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I go over there and, and he says, um, man, you gotta quit coming up to me every time you see me out with the rap shit. And I was like, why? He said, because you know I'm gonna have to have uh, Gilbert or Hucky do something to you. I said, like what? He said, you know, like break your legs or something. I said, but Prince, who was taken up for you before you had all these bodyguards and shit. And so he said, what, what? I said, remember when Coles and was fixing to kick your ass at the Fox Trap? And he was like, what, how much do I owe you? So he was playing around going in his pocket. And I said, you don't owe me nothing. I said, just open up the door, I can get it myself. He said, well, that was then and this is now. And he walked away, did the little Prince strut. I stayed at him for a long time, you know, I didn't give up right away. One of Prince's uh, guitar players, Miko Weaver, I was friends with him too. And they were working on the uh, soundtrack for Batman, the, the one with Kim Bassinger and Jack Nicholson. He was telling me what it was going on in the dailies. I wrote a rap about the bat, Batman that is the one in black, like a bat out of hell, he will reveal, screaming down the road in the Batmobile. So I did this rhyme about the movie and I put it out before the movie came out. Warner Brothers was snooping around because they wanted to know if Prince had something to do with that song. He said no and they said, well, how's he know about what's going on in the movie? Because the movie wasn't out. Then that's when Prince finally called me up and he said, hey, come out here. We're going to do some music in the studio. So I bought my stuff out to Paisley and we started cutting tracks. So I did True Confession. And so after that, Prince kind of had a riff with Warner Brothers and he changed his name to The Symbol. And he wouldn't answer, he wouldn't do nothing under the name of Prince. He wanted his masters. You know, he, he thought it was wrong that they took and owned his master tapes. Through that situation, Warner Brothers ended up releasing him out of his contract. But when that happened, they released all of us. So I was signed to Warner Brothers through Paisley Park. So we all got canned. And so um, the story goes on. 